Okay, thanks, Mike. And uh, obviously, anybody who would like to come to say anything is certainly welcome. Uh, I'm going to stop the pictures, and I'm going to play a video that um, my younger brother has recorded. Uh, my younger brother, Stefan, uh, we haven't, you haven't heard a lot about him in this kind of conversation. Obviously, uh, he's a big part of our family, and uh, you've seen him in the photos. Uh, he's in North Carolina now. Uh, he's having some health issues, so he wasn't able to make it. And uh, but my dad and Stefan were very close, and uh, he was the baby of the clan, you know, and when I had grown up and kind of gone out, they got even closer. So um, he's recorded a little something for us today, and I'm going to just see if I can, just bear with me while I, uh, let's see if I can get it up on the screen here for you. And, um, and that'll pretty much, uh, pretty much conclude what we've been doing here. Let's see here. Okay, okay. Hi, my name is Stefan. My father is Ron Ullard. I'm sorry I couldn't be there today. I thank you all for coming. My father was a deeply passionate and intelligent person, um, and he would have loved you all showing up and giving him support. General, he uh, is greatly missed, and I miss him to this day. Uh, I wish I could have his ear for counsel and advice, because he was one of the most intelligent people I've ever met and loved, again, all of those in his family. Uh, yeah, he, my father is probably one of the best listeners that you could ever want. Um, if you're ever going through a hard time, he's the person that I always call. Um, he's prior to everything that you could possibly hear and had just great advice um, and deeply thoughtful advice. I'm going through some stuff right now and it, still to this day, it's, it's hard not to pick up the phone and, and call my pop and ask him for advice. Sometimes I forget that he's not in this plane with us any longer. Um, but I still do talk to him because I can feel him, and I know he's there. Um, but I do miss him here, I really do. I know you loved his work. We obviously loved him as a person and how he lived his life. And there's not enough time to possibly tell how great a person he was, but I know for all of my family's birthdays that we all received, um, personalized um, comic strips and stories. Um, he was a very unique and generous person. Um, I have not met a lot of people who share their heart and soul as much as he did. I wish more people had known that side of him, but you can see it in his works, and um, I appreciate everyone for being in there to actually um, honor his work and continue to uh, make his memory shine. I still meet people today that are touched and influenced and shocked that he was my father and um, I wouldn't have wanted it a different way. Um, I know there are teachers who learned that quite quickly if they prohibited me from reading something, he would walk into the school and set that straight. Um, he um, liked honesty, um, he didn't like fake shallow things. So that was it. Uh, in this world, it's a really special. My father was a deeply caring person. Um, I know he helped a lot of my friends out who were in need and did things I didn't know other people would really do, like take them in, give them home and food until they got back on their feet. Um, it's not something he talked about a lot, but he did a lot of reaching out and helping people. And I love him for that. I went to for advice on any subject at all. I wasn't embarrassed to talk to my father about anything. He was a genius level person and uh, emotionally incredibly deep and would really listen to what you had to say. My father was into all sorts of art forms. Um, it's one of the things that got me into music and art myself. Um, his deep appreciation of people who were trying to show emotions and share stories and feelings. I always remember my father playing music, as did our whole house. Um, There's typically three different kinds of music playing at all times, if not more. My father's impact is still resonating uh, with myself and I know my family. Um, just two days ago, I had another conversation about my father's work um, with a stranger who got very excited. And um, this happens all the time. People love my father and love the work he did. Uh, I hope it continues on. Uh, bigger than life character. Um, he was a genius, and I've not met a lot of geniuses on the planet. Um, and when you really got to know him and talk, you, you really saw the levels and depth that he had. 
Um, I hope you get that through his work. My father um, also put all of his family members in his books, which I didn't realize for a while, um, throughout all of his stories and um, all of his work. You would see um, us throughout our characters, the way we acted. Um, and I didn't know that for a while, but he pointed out to me many times, and that was a, another way that he showed his love for the people he actually loved on this planet. I know that his work speaks volumes, but he was obviously deeper than that, and an extremely loving and generous man, and I miss him deeply, as do I know my mother and my brother, because I can't possibly share everything. Uh, my father was a deeply loving, caring person who was a genius, and the stories are many, but he loved his work, he was passionate about life, and I miss him, as I know my brother and mother do. I want to thank everybody that's there in support of my father, and my brother Sean, my mother Francis. I know they really appreciate your support, and my father would have loved seeing you all there, supporting him, and to need to read his work and love him. Thanks for everybody. Thank you, Stephen.